Asha and today's video is going to be all about fake tanning, how to achieve the perfect tan by using fake tanning products and in particular for those girls who like myself have very very naturally fair skin. So if you are someone who has olive skin and you're watching this and now you're like oh I can't watch it anymore because it's for girls with pale skin, no you can keep watching. Most of the stuff I'm going to talk about is going to be relevant to you as well. Um, there's just a few things that I'm going to mention which may help pale girls um, in their fake tanning adventures. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to give a couple of tips. I'm going to talk about the process that I go through and then I'm going to talk about some products that I would recommend. For me, I always associated the word fake tan with people like Snooki and I just felt like if I ever applied fake tan to my skin, especially because I'm so pale, that I would just turn out you know, orange and um, researching products, you know, I've changed my perspective and I now believe that you can achieve a very natural looking tan with fake tan if you do use the right products and you do do the right step. So my first number one tip for girls who have pale skin is to don't have the idea that you are going to end up looking like Jennifer Lopez or something because that's not going to happen. If you apply a fake tan that's that dark onto your skin, you, that's when you're going to end up looking like Snooki. Like you might notice that I at the moment am, I am fairly, you know, pale, but I am wearing fake tan at the moment. And I will insert a before shot here just so you can see like my before I fake tan and the after fake tan. And you will notice that there isn't much of a difference. There is a difference, but for me, it's enough of a difference to make me feel more confident. <laughs> By all means, if you are someone who has olive skin, then you can definitely go for a darker formula and I'll talk a little bit more about that when I go into the product. Start off talking about the process you go have to go through and um, mention products along the way, I guess. So the first important thing that you need to do if you're going to fake tan is shave. You want to have a very, very smooth surface that the fake tan can glide over. If, if you apply fake tan over, you know, spiky legs, you're not going to get an even finish and it's not going to look um, very natural at all. I've got a product here that I would recommend. This is the Chic Hydro Silk Shaver. And the really awesome thing about this is that it has five blades. So five blades is basically just going to make sure that you get a really, really close shave. And that is awesome. And I've used it and it works really well. And you get an incredibly, incredibly close shave. And I'm someone who has very, very hairy legs. And this works really well for me. Another really cool thing about this is that it has moisturizing properties. And that is another thing that I will talk about a little bit later. Again, sorry, this video is like all over the place. But if you are someone who has dry skin like myself, I have very dry legs, then you, um, you need to make sure that you moisturize those spots. Because if you don't, the fake tan is going to stick to those spots and basically yeah, it's just, it's not going to look good. <laughs> so yeah, I would highly recommend the Chic Hydro Silk. They have actually got a competition going at the moment on their Facebook page. They're giving away a ton of these razors. So I will link that in the description below. Make sure you go and check it out because it's a really awesome shaver. Is shaver a word? I always say that. No one else, I swear. I think no one else says that. It's, it must just be me. Yeah. So after you've shaved your body, you need to make sure that you are exfoliating your body because you need to get all of the dead skin and it's disgusting but it's true you have to get all of the dead skin off your body so that the fake tan doesn't cling to it so I just use um, a little thing like this and it's all wet at the moment because I had a shower this morning but yeah I just use this with an exfoliator and the one I'm using at the moment is the Body Shop Strawberry the strawberry body polish and it just has little beads in it so yeah that's really good you can use any exfoliator you want so once you've hopped out of the shower as i talked about before with the razor you need to make sure that you moisturize the dry patches on your body so in particular spots like your knuckles um this i find this part on the palms of your hands your elbows your knees your ankles make sure that you moisturize them because 
you don't want the fake tan to cling to those spots. So the one I'm using at the moment is the Palm Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula and it's just a moisturizer. So yeah. So after you've done all those things in preparation for fake tanning, finally you can actually move on to the fake tanning process. I use a mint and please excuse me because this is disgustingly dirty because I used it last night. But um, yeah, I use a fake tanning mint. This one is just from Zape Trapez. And it just makes the application a lot smoother and easier to apply and um, then using your hands, especially if you're going to use your hands, you're basically going to get all the fake tan all over your hands and it's not going to look good. It's like the complete giveaway if you're wearing fake tan. Onto the fake tan that I've been using, this is the Bondi Sands, the Australian tan self tanning foam in light medium. And the thing that I really, really like about this is that it has a very olive undertone. This one is really good for girls who have pale skin because, like myself, I only played a little bit, I played, applied a little bit, and it gave me quite a natural finish. If you're someone who has more olivey skin, then I would recommend using a, they have this in a darker version. In terms of the application, I did try to film this last night, and I'm going to insert a shot here, but it was very hard to film because I had to turn on my like fluorescent light and I couldn't really see what I was doing and I didn't want to screw up because that would look bad especially when I'm doing a video the next day on fake tanning so I'm just going to sort of show you what you need to do so you just grab your fake tanning mitt and you basically just apply it on your arm like this like you just want to rub it very very softly over the skin like just smooth it over the skin on your arms I would say start on this side and then move on to the back of your arms just because Naturally, um, the back of your arms is more pale than the front of your arms. And also another thing to remember is to make sure that you apply the same amount of fake tan in each spot. So what I mean by this is don't apply, you know, four pumps of the foam on one leg and then two pumps on the other leg because it's just going to, one leg is obviously going to be darker than the other one. So after you've applied the fake tan, probably you want to leave it on your body for about two minutes just so it can settle into your skin. And then you want to, you know, get into your pajamas and go to sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning, you um, jump in the shower and just, it should all wash off. And when I wake up in the morning and I have it on, like I freak out, I'm like, oh my God, this is so dark. Like I don't want it to be this dark. If there are certain spots on your body that you think are too dark, then when you get in the shower, just take um, this little exfoliator again and scrub at those sections. I find it's generally like my hands that have a little bit of fake tan on them and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that that is everything I have got to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely, if you do have some tips or products that you would recommend, make sure you leave them in the comments below because I would love to hear your suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you check out all of my social networking sites as well as the Chic Facebook page which has the giveaway running at the moment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! So this is what it looks like. It's just a very, very nudie pink. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before. but.